Well, my goodness me, what a day it's been here at the Yonix Open Japan semi-finals day, of course. Well, it all started off with a bit of a disappointment for J Japan, but since then, it's just got better and better. Targo is through to the final of the men's singles, and Yamaguchi, we've just seen the 16-year-old beat last year's champion in two straight games, surviving six game points in that opening game to ensure a title goes to Japan tomorrow, because tomorrow it will be an all-Japanese women's singles final. Just one more semi-final to come, and it features the world and Olympic silver medalists, Matthias Bo and Karsten Mogensen from Denmark. Well, uh, they are number nine on the uh, road to uh, Malaysia. Of course, this is the Super Series list and the uh, list of players who've done best in the Super Series tournaments. This is event number eight on the 12 tournament Super Series tour. And of course, it's only the top eight players at the end of the Super Series who will qualify for the Super Series finals in Malaysia to be played in December. So that's the list at the moment, uh, Bo and Mogensen will uh, no doubt move up the list after at least, of course, a semi-final here. But they will be hoping to go better than a semi-final because they are the number two seeds. Their opponents, Chai Biao and Hong Wei from China, a relatively new pairing, only came together at the start of this year at the German Grand Prix Gold event. They won that. Uh, they then didn't play the All England Championships together the following week because, of course, their ranking wasn't high enough to get into the All England. So they played with their former partners. The following week, after the All England it's Championships it's Super it's Series it's event, it's of course, they played the Swiss, it's Swiss it's Grand Prix Gold and they won that and as well. Please so welcome the semi-finalists of the men's they played. doubles. And from that moment on, we knew that this Chinese combination had huge potential. <laughs> Matthias Bo and Karsten Mogensen, the number two seeds, but surprisingly, this is their first ever semi-final at the Japan Open. They're making their sixth appearance at this particular tournament this year, and never previously beyond a quarter-final. But there you can see semi-final lineup. The other men's doubles is underway. And the world champions, the Indonesian pair of Asan and Setiawan, looking good, having taken the first game. But they're down in the second. And in the bottom half of the draw, the it's world championship the silver medalists. So the world championship gold and silver medalists still in the draw. Plus two Chinese pairs. And this is the, the semi-final of the men's doubles are Chai Biao, Hong Wei, Chai Biao and Hong Wei. Matthias Bo, Karsten Mogensen, Denmark. Matthias Bo, Karsten Mogensen, the veterans representing from Denmark. Denmark. Matthias Bo, the left-hander, 33 years of age. Karsten Mogensen, 30. Nippon. The umpire is Atsushi Saito from Japan. Service judge is Sakamoto Emi, Nippon. And the service judge is Emi Sakamoto from Japan. So the court officials from Japan. Chinese players 22 and 23. Chai Biao will be turning 23 next month. So these Danish players, approximately 10 years more experience on the world tour than their opponents. Oh! Hong Wei, as you can see, a very tall athlete indeed. One metre 90, that's about six foot three. It was this Chinese pair that broke the hearts of the home fans earlier on in the tournament because in the second round they defeated the number three seeds, the pair that had reached the final of the China Masters Super Series last week. Hiroyuki Endo and Kenichi Hawaka beat them in two straight games. And then yesterday in the quarterfinal had a thrilling three-game encounter with the number eight seeds, Hirokatsu Hashimoto and Hirata. Four minutes 
to come through that. There you can see they're not seeded because their world ranking has actually gone up 17 places to 46. They've only got five tournaments towards that. And you can see from their career win-loss record equals this year's win-loss record, which confirms what I was telling you a little earlier, that they only formed their partnership earlier this year. Two finals, two titles. 100% record in the finals so far in their partnership. And that also confirms what I was telling you about their matches so far. The two Japanese seeded pairs, both been beaten by this relatively new Chinese combination. So to the Danes, on the left-hander, Matthias Bo, he's the older of the two players at the age of 33. Karsten Mogensen, 30, lives in Copenhagen. Currently number three on the world ranking. They have been the number ones. The number nine, as we saw on the Super Series list, the race towards the Super Series finals. Number two seeding. And it is surprising to me that such a highly ranked pair making their sixth appearance here has never been past the quarter-final stage of this particular event. In fact, last year they were the number one seeds and they lost in the second round to Dasuki and Gunawan. Well, they've had no such problems so far this year. No seeded opposition, including this match, of course. And not one single pair has even taken a game against them, including their teammates, Mads Konrad Peterson and Mads Kohling. A new Danish combination that they beat in yesterday's quarterfinal. So, understandably, this is the first meeting between the two pairs, given the fact that the Chinese pair have only recently formed their partnership near confirmation of our court officials. throughout the world tour, not only for their wonderful badminton, but also for taking an age in between rallies. Taking an age to get ready for the start of this match. many opportunities to watch this new Chinese pair. It may take a little bit of time just to work out tactically what they're supposed to be doing. Oh. 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 
before the Danes very good when they're in the attacking position but Matthias Bo, though he's worked very hard on it and improved a lot still has real frailties in his defensive play Four. when the Danes are playing. <coughs> Absolute masters at the serve return and third shot. <laughs> In between the two Chinese players, and when they're a new partnership, that's where there'll be a bit of confusion still. Yeah, a little look at each other. We should have taken that. Hey! 
Surprising. This is their tenth year playing together. that have the lead a four-point advantage at the mid-game interval of game number one. Just seven minutes played. Yeah, lovely play. You know, the whole atmosphere here in Tokyo, a little subdued after the excitement of that women's singles. I should just explain a little bit more about the history of the Yonex Open Japan because I played in what I believed was the first ever Japan Open back in 1981. And I was told by the organizers that that wasn't the first official one. And prior to 1981, there had been an invitational event. In 1981 it was really just a full dress rehearsal for the first official. Japan Open in 1982. Hey. Yeah. The first Japan 11. Open that I played, there was Japanese winners of the women's doubles, Takuda and Yonekira beat Perry and Webster from England in the final. And a long discussion with the tournament organizers about whether oh. that counted as a Japanese title. Here at the home event, and it was decided because it wasn't uh, the first official Japan Open that it didn't count. So, of course, all our excitement and all our talk about a first ever title guaranteed tomorrow in the women's singles. That is as far as the official Japan Open is concerned. 32 years in waiting. attacking play by both the Chinese players. Play. There's the poor defensive shot from Matthias Bow. Short of the length on his lift. No! Oh, running away with this opening game at the moment. Oh! 
Point opportunities. from Chai Biao. Okay. to the unseeded Chinese pair, 21-11 in just 13 minutes of play. The World Championship and Olympic Games silver medalists are in big trouble. A good play by the Chinese pair, didn't allow the Danes to settle at all. 21-11. Is the final rally of the opening game. The luck of the net court just trickles over. Uh, they deserved the luck. Taking the shuttle early, looking to be positive on defence. And confirmation game number one, 21 11 in 14 minutes. Well, the Danes are going to have to find their form and find it fairly quickly, otherwise they're going to be out of the Yonix Open Japan for 2013. The Chinese pair at the moment are very really much in the ascendancy. Umpire has called for the tournament referee. Assistant referee is running on. I'm not quite sure what the problem is. Are the Danes complaining about the speed of shuttle? Well, could 
couldn't hear what the assistant's referee was saying. Oh, there we go. That's what the trouble is. The courts around, the carpets around has just come a little bit loose. Somebody's put their foot on that. Surprised the players are that far out of court when they're playing a shot. They shouldn't put their foot down there. Well, it's just come a little bit loose. And the players concerned that could injure themselves. attendance There's a delay here as we wait for somebody to go and find some sticky tape it's not amusing the Danes I would have thought that the Chinese pair would be more upset by this because they were on a real roll yeah well there's the tournament <laughs> deputy referee yeah, finally, here comes somebody, one of the court attendants coming on. Yeah, I wouldn't try taking that up. I'd just put extra sticky stuff on top. I do. I'm not a technician. What do I know about it? Here we go. Here's somebody that knows. Oh, there we Yeah, you see, I was totally wrong. That's why they don't have me near the court. Well, while the court repairs are going on, I can bring you right up to date with everything else that's been happening today. And I can tell you that in the other men's doubles semi-final, the world champions... Ah, well, there you go. Well, he's a tall man and he's got long legs and long arms, Hong Wei. That's when it happened. And as they continue with the repairs, I can tell you that the world champions, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan from Indonesia, have come through in the other semi final against Kang Jung and Liu Cheng in three games 21 12, 18, 21, 21 18 in the deciding game. So question is, will we have a repeat of the World Championship final? In other words, will the Danes come through this? Or will we have Indonesia-China men's doubles final? Here we go. Two love, second game. of serve, but I have to say the Chinese pair have been so good on the third shot. The European champions have really struggled. 
this time Bobby Lucky Nick called with the Danes. It's a good return. Yeah. Putting the Danes under so much pressure right from the start of the rally. think he was hitting that shuttle down from he's six foot three tall he's got a long arm stretching up in the air plus he's leapt in the air as well that's well over three meters that's coming down from Long. Six, lucky to get away with the one round the back and then made the error on the second one and Chai Biao and Hong Wei a game and at 11-6 up midway through the second game and as you just saw 25 minutes and only this match has been in progress deficit and react right now. That's a helping their cause. Oh. Nine, 11. Both 
three points since the mid-game interval in the favour of Danish combination. since the mid-game interval. 11-4. The gap has been closed. It's all level. to change the shuttle. The Danes say no. The umpire agrees with the Chinese players. Now to get on the attack and use their powerful smashes, and it's been making a big, big difference to the outcome of the rallies. Serve is short in the mark. Serving out wide, Chai be out. It was way short of that front service line. Attempts to put that away, Hong Wei. But in the end, put it away with Venom. off, just blocking it back to the center of the court, Carson Morganson. Oh, 
16. Yeah, he just practices the serve, having made the error. since the mid-game interval in this second game. There's definite shift in momentum and all in favour of the European champions. Only points of drift at the game. Hey! And now, just two points away from taking the second game and forcing a third and decider. Opportunities. One will do. 21 15. Thirty three minutes needed. Well, I don't know what Kenneth Jonasson said to his men in the game interval but whatever it was it worked this the game points lovely disguise on the drop shot from Matthias Bo and it's one game apiece and of course Kenneth Jonasson former world number two men's singles player a very experienced coach now So here we go, third and deciding game. Men's doubles semi-final here at the Olympics Open Japan. A wow. repeat of the World Championship final. Mohammed Hassan and Hindra Satyawan. The world champions are safely through to the final tomorrow. So will they play against the silver medalists, the Danes, in this new Chinese combination? is called struck above the waist one. says our service judge Ms. Sakamoto Three, one. Well, 
this is the sort of style they used in the opening game, the drive defense, and then playing the flat, fast rallies against the Danes. The Danes enjoyed success in the second game by slowing it all down. dispute again as to whether the shuffle should be changed. Oh, Matthias Bow told by the umpire to change the shuffle. A wry smile from him. Yeah, the shuffle sometimes fluffs up, becomes a little bit slower and the Danes would like that. No! Here's the attack directed at the left-hander once again. Four, three. have enjoyed success with that hold and flick serve. Dan's opening up a two-point cushion. And four straight points. will absolutely pounce on it. Such 
such a good serve. Mm. This time, no advantage from the flick serve. Seven, nine. Him dear. He's going to leave it. Realizes he has to play it. Ten or who's going to have the advantage at the change of ends? Psychological importance, perhaps more than the one point advantage. 44 minutes. Let's just put that into perspective. Kanichi Targo earlier today in his men's singles semi final won his match 21 12, 21 12 against a girl who had fairly comfortable, you'd guess, from the scoreline. And yet that was 47 minutes. Here we are halfway through the third and deciding game of the men's doubles and we're still three minutes shy of the length of time one, that Targo was on court for Both his 21-12, 21-12. That really does give an indication to me of just how short the rallies are in men's doubles nowadays. Used to be a great spectacle, the men's doubles. He's lost something ten. of late. Here you go. Here you go. Three. Hey. Mm. He does have a tendency ten. to get down on himself, does Chai be out? And he starts making errors like that. something dramatic happens. I don't see a way back for the Chinese pair. Danes, I know there's only a three-point advantage, but psychologically, they look very buoyant at the moment. Oh, so it's from cold. The racket not facing in the downward direction. much for my prediction. Yeah, the 
Lane's uh, targeting Chibi out. A little bit of a discussion between the two Chinese players. been struggling to find his form and range at the front of the court. Good serve. Hey! That's great defence that time. I think it was Mogerson actually that hit that shot. Just long, they're back level. Well, well, well. How quickly it can change. Zhang Jun looking a little bit nervous. Great interception from Mogensen. Well, Matthias Bo saying umpire, umpire. He touched the shuttle before it went out. It certainly wasn't called by the umpire. Let's have a look. Ooh. Difficult to tell. Ooh. Oh, that's a good shot. Nice. Oh. Oh. Just couldn't move quickly enough across the Spoke. And once again, it's all level. Yeah, that's my prediction out the window, isn't it? I thought at 13-10 the Danes were really looking as if they were beginning to stamp their authority on the match. Oh, 
Jackson finds his form and intercepts at exactly the right time. There's the push, and then there's the interception and the kill. One game all, 18 all. seats from a place in the final. of the Danes and the match point opportunity has come to Chai Biao and Hong Wei. Super Series Tournament Final they will contest tomorrow. They were semi-finalists a week ago at the China Masters here in Japan. Uh, they've gone at least one better. And they'll play the world champions from Indonesia in tomorrow's final. But victory today over the world championship silver medalists. This is how it all ended. The flat, fast exchange, which very much suited the Chinese players and the error from Matthias Bo and therefore the match to the Chinese combination. 21-11, 15-21, sheer delight for the Chinese players and 21-19 in the deciding game. 55 minutes and for them a first ever Super Series tournament final tomorrow. So the Chinese players take leave of centre stage. They, of course, will be back tomorrow. And tomorrow, if they want to win this title, they'll have to beat the reigning world champions, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan. Well, it was a strange old match, wasn't it, this men's doubles? Times never really ignited. But there were some good moments, and we can savour those right now.
Well, what a day it's been here in Tokyo at the Yonex Open Japan 2013. There's a full list of all five semi-finals that we've witnessed. Of course, it all started off with disappointment for Matsutomo and Takahashi, the number two seeds, beaten by the European champions from Denmark in the women's doubles. Then men's singles and uh, Kenichi Tago made history today because never before has a men's singles player from the host nation got through to the final of the men's singles discipline. He'll contest it tomorrow against the defending champion, Lee Chong Wei, who quite frankly was a class above Nguyen in his semi-final. And what about the women's singles? The 17-year-old Akane Yamaguchi, 16 years of age. She will contest an all Japanese women's singles final tomorrow because Shizuka Uchida beat former world champion Wang Yi Han in their semi-final. So Japan are guaranteed a title tomorrow. It will be their first ever title at the Japan Open since the Japan Open officially started in 1982. Well, uh, after the women's singles, we saw the men's doubles and that three game encounter and the European champions have gone down to this new Chinese pair of Chai Biao and Hong Wei. That's what they're all playing for tomorrow. The Yonex Open Japan Trophy. It should be a thrilling day at tomorrow's finals. We'll leave you with all the highlights from today. Remember, we'll be back with the finals, 12 noon local time. That's 0300 GMT from all of us in Tokyo, especially from me, Jill Clark. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.